I'm Aparna, and these are your messages from someone you are not talking to. Let's buy on them. Let's try to figure out what they may want to communicate with you. And I will be using the wisdom of my Hidden Truth Oracle deck to deliver them to you. By the way, the energy that I'm receiving is, is a lot of a lot of chatter. I don't know if this person was a chatterbox or they love to chat a lot. Just let me know. Now, I remember every single detail of that day. You know, whenever this card comes out, it talks about somebody who is not able to get over a situation. As in they, it's like a broken record in their mind where they, you know, the shoulda, coulda, woulda's are constantly playing. What if I had said this? What if they had said that? It's like that. You know, when you have a dialogue, a continuous dialogue with you and that situation over and over again, and they remember every detail. So I wonder if there's someone who's trying to find, they could be somebody very judgmental and very critical. That's when they dissect everything, including that situation, your intentions, why you said this, it's that kind of energy. And they remember every single detail. I don't know if they're having Tej, Ras or Chavan Parash, but their memory about that situation is excellent. I wonder if you are happy without me whenever this card comes out. I know they're watching you. Have you moved on with somebody else? Now, I don't know if you have a whole bunch of new friends um, or you have somebody totally new in your life romantically. But this person either is keeping tabs on you. They could be watching your social media. Um, they're wondering if those pictures that you're posting are happy ones. And I also sense there's some kind of an undercurrent of one-upmanship here. It's almost like if you post something, they go ahead and do. If you feel that there is no need to indulge in these game playing, you know, activities, just abort it. Because this is giving this person some kind of, I mean, some kind of a, you know, boost that yes, you know, I'm all, they're watching me. Don't give them that satisfaction. But for most of you, this person is watching your social media feeds to see who you hang out with, who you're stepping out for your lunch, dinner and coffees with. And they're trying to understand if you are happy without them. I also sense ego. It's almost like, you know, they think they were the best. And without them, you're nothing. My God, who is this narcissist? Now, I couldn't let you get close to me. This person had issues to open up open up their anahata, open up their heart and let you in. And I think you are someone who thrives on that. You want emotions. For you, a connection is based on, I'm not saying it's not based on anything physical. I mean, that is the first thing that happens is when you see someone. It's that instant physical attraction. But you were somebody who was willing to open up the other layers that many people don't want to show. Because then, you're investing a part of you which holds your soul, your heart. And then the pain you feel perhaps is very difficult to get over. This person did not want to invest their heart. They kept it very superficial. But let me tell you, they knew that you wanted more and that you did your best to reach out to them in a heartfelt manner. Huh. They wouldn't let you get close to them. They may have kept their heart crossed at all times. They may have given you a lot of passion, a lot of you know sexual energy, a lot of chemistry, a lot of fun things to do. And they thought that was enough. But they always maintained this, this, this boundary that was uh, no trespassing allowed. And I'm starting to understand the connection is telling me that they have probably been with many other people who have also been in the same energy as them. They attracted them, right? But they didn't open their hearts either. And now they are starting to understand your connection. You know, it's very rare that people sometimes don't... It's very rare that people get you immediately, especially if you're having some kind of a fight or some argument with them. It's when you leave. It's your absence that sometimes makes people understand your value. And this has happened here. Because now they're understanding the connection and I'm giving you a heads up. This person has definitely dealt with more people who have been the exact carbon copy of how they are. So they have 
seen the mirror and it's been such an image that has jarred them. And they've understood that they were responsible for not opening their heart with somebody who was willing to give it all. You wore your heart on your sleeve. This person is starting to understand the connection now. Now they're watching your, your social media feeds. So it's up to you. If you want to continue, I, I'm sensing there's some kind of a war going on where you post, they post. If you want this to continue, I mean, you have free will, but I think you should abort that if, if this is resonating with you. But you've left a mark on this person and they have definitely dealt with other people in the interim who have shown them a mirror to exactly how they are and how they acted with you. So this is the energy. These are your messages from somebody you are not speaking to. Use this information as fuel and you manifest a beautiful, love-filled week ahead. Namaste.